Well, hey, welcome everybody. Uh, let me do my proper uh, Namaste Meter Nam Professor Hey at C. Milker Hushiwe. I hope all is well with you. I am the professor, and welcome to Movie Community College. And of course, we're going to talk about something that has nothing to do with movies, because that's what we do here. Um, this is a video called India Bets on Solar Power, and I'm be interested in this, how this works out. Solar energy is uh, viewed a little skeptical in America. Why? I don't know. Probably because we are fossil fuel driven, gasoline guzzling, coal burning, I don't know, Americans. Mm, I don't know. Um, and everybody always looks like when you bring up, you know, solar power, they always raise an eyebrow like that, like you're a hippie, like, hmm, hippie. I don't know. So I'd be really curious to see how this thing implements in, how are the results? Uh, do the, do the does the plan to, you know what's the maintenance on the plan so you guys keep me posted because I think that this could be a great way just to get off the grid but anyways let's let's take a look at the video on the edge of the Rajasthan <coughs> desert thousands of solar panels poised to play their part in India's push into renewable energy this section of a new solar park has been built to provide a boost to the country's aging grid companies have been offered incentives such as tax breaks to enter the fledgling industry and for those that recently took the plunge, the risk appears to be paying off. Everyone was afraid to go in solar. No one was ready to go in solar because that technology at that time was very new. Nothing was known. The effects and that is why we entered into solar. Now it has converted into an opportunity. With more than 300 days of sunshine a year, the potential for solar energy in India is huge. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has set ambitious targets for the sector to help bring electricity to millions and combat frequent blackouts. And solar power is being championed as the cornerstone of India's climate change policy. The Prime Minister enhanced the target from 20,000 megawatt to 100,000 megawatt, a five-fold change in India's target. It is not that you know India would like to do it under any pressure or uh, anything. On its own, it thinks it's good for the globe and uh, it thinks it's good for the country. But India remains heavily dependent on coal-fired power stations, which generate around 60% of its electricity. And the government wants to double domestic Thank coal you. production by 2020. Ahead of global climate change talks in Paris in December, India is under pressure to adopt targets for reducing carbon emissions. In the world's third biggest polluting nation, environmental experts say coal must take a back seat. Coal can be a stopgap arrangement for the time being. There is no doubt that we need to keep on investing in renewable energy sources. And well, while we do that, what we should be doing at the same time is to reduce our dependency on fossil fuel-based uh, uh, power generation. Solar and other green power sources are unlikely to trump coal in India anytime soon. Parks like this require major investment and state-of-the-art technology. But by backing solar, India wants to show the world it has a vision of a cleaner and brighter future. Nice, very nice. Good for India. I, um, boy, oh boy, you could get into talking about the grid. America's got a big grid problem too. But, but anyways, I divest. I divest. I divest myself with this video. No, I digress. So what happens when you make videos early in the morning? It is uh, one sixteen a.m. as I record this. Hey, hey, to all of my Indian friends living in Arizona, Diwali's coming up the 29th in Phoenix, and uh, the professor and the warrior queen may just may may make an appearance there. We're working on it. We're trying to get into Diwali. We're going to try to crash the party if I can. I got a couple other things going on. Uh, but if my schedule frees up, we are we are heading to Diwali. What? 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 I don't know what to wear, though. I don't have any traditional Indian clothing yet. Yet. But I'll need, I'll need to find something, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. That way you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. i catch you guys later. Peace.